Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn about log on to MS Access. So this is our part two of chapter one. So in part one, we have learned what is data, what is a database, what is the need of database, field, record, file, and then types of database models. And then what is DBMS, what is RDBMS, everything we have learned in the previous video. Okay. And in this video, we are going to learn about what is MS Access. How, I'm, how we are going to use this MS Access in database. Okay. So the first thing is about MS Access. MS Access is the RDBMS software. As we have learned about relational database model in the previous video, it is based on that particular relational model. Okay. So MS Access is based on relational database model. So it is called RDBMS software. It is used to create databases with different tables and all these tables can be connected. It is a part of Microsoft Office software package. Okay, so these are all the basic things about MS Access. So here we have some important features in MS Access. So MS Access is made up of tables. Table is a main storage container of data entered into the database, which is made up of rows and columns. Then we have queries, which are used to view criteria, to view, sort, calculate, filter, update, delete, and whatever you wanted to do in your table, everything can be done only through this queries, okay? So it is used uh, to give criteria for all the things you wanted to do on the tables, okay? Next, we have forms. Forms are like interface between the database and the user. It is used to enter the data into the database. So how are we going to collect those databases to our table? through these forms. So form will be available appearing on the screen. So the user will enter the data inside the form. That data will be stored in the database. Example, entering your details in Facebook or Instagram, everything will be stored in the database. Okay. So the way the place you are entering now, it is like, it is looking like application with boxes, right? So that is what called forms. Next we have reports. As I said, in the queries, we are asked through the queries, we are asking questions to the table. Like I need this particular information. I need this particular information. So we are giving queries to the tables, right? As the output of that particular query, we'll be getting a new table. Suppose if I take, if I take a class bio data and I need to know the information about the student, the mode of transport of the students. Okay. In that case, what I'll do, that is called filtering. So the mode of transport, how I may need student admission number, student name, class and section, and then mode of transport. Okay. This is for the whole school, not for a single class or single section. Okay. In that case, from the whole bio data, it is taking, it is filtering only these particular things and it is giving that as a particular output. Okay. That output is called reports that will come in the form of table so reports can be generated by using data in the table through the queries so it can be generated by using data in the table through queries okay so these are all the things which are available in ms access next we are going to see about how to start ms access and what is ms access window how to create a blank database how to save and how to close okay so for starting the database we just need to click on start button and then we have to click on all programs okay so here is how it is going to look like click on start button and then select all programs once you selected this you'll be getting another list of softwares okay from that you have to select your microsoft office and then you'll be getting a new list of ms office software package from that choose ms access okay so here is how it is going to look like microsoft office and then once you click on Microsoft Office, you'll be getting this list and then select MS Microsoft Access 2010. Now, after clicking on this, you'll be directly taken to the Microsoft Access window. Okay. In that window, the first part of that window is MS Access ribbon, which includes the title bar also. So here we have title bar. Under that, we have a place which, which is called ribbon. So this part is called ribbon. Inside the ribbon, we have file, home, create external data and database tools. These are all called tabs. Okay. And in this ribbon, we have options under groups. What are the groups? These views, 
clipboard, sort and filter, records. These are all called groups. And inside the groups, we have these options. Okay. So this is what called MS Access Ribbon. Next, we are having Quick Access Toolbar. What is a Quick Access Toolbar? It is available at the left side of your title bar. And it is available above the ribbon. So the commands, the default commands, which we use often are available here. The default commands are save, undo, redo. And if you want to add anything new, you can add like this. Okay. So this is called Quick Access Toolbar. Next, we have Backstage View. Backstage view is nothing but the view when which you are getting when you are clicking on file. Just click on file tab. You'll be getting this page. This is called backstage view, which has the options like save, save as, open, close, recent, new, save and publish, even the exit button. Okay. So this is called backstage view. Okay. Next, we have navigation pan. Navigation pan is available at the left side of your MS Access window, which is used to switch between the tables, queries, forms, and reports. Okay. As it is a relational database model, we may have so many tables and we are using queries, forms, and even reports. Okay. To switch between these things, we are using this navigation pan, which is available at the left side of your screen. Okay. So these are all the basic things about your Microsoft Access window. Okay. So next, how to create a blank database? For that, go to File menu, select New, and then select Blank Database in the Backstage view. So once you clicked on Blank Database, at the right side, you can see the file name and Create button. So usually, in other MS Office software packages, we'll be saving our work only after completing the same MS Word, Excel, PowerPoint, only after completing everything, we'll be saving it. Okay. But here in MS Access, you should give the name, which means you have to save your database before you start your work. So the default file name is database one, two, three, four. It will come like that and it will be stored in documents folder in your system. Okay. So if you want to change the name, you can change it and then click create. So once you clicked on create button, you will be taken to that MS Access window with the table name, table one. Okay. So by default, the database name is database one or database two or database three. And by default, the table name is table one, table two, table three, etc. Okay. And as it is a relational database model, a relational database can link different tables to get a common piece of information. Suppose if you wanted to save it in another location you have to go to file and then select save us here you have to select ms access 2007 to 2003 database okay so this is used to save your work in another location okay so just after clicking on this you'll be getting this kind of dialog box the save us dialog box okay so here from this navigation pan you can choose your desired folder and then start typing the name once you type the name you can add this extension or this extension will be added automatically so the default extension for ms access is dot acc.db for other softwares like for example if it is microsoft word the extension is dot docx for excel it is dot xlsx for powerpoint it is dot pptx okay but here for ms access it is dot ACCDB. Okay. So this is the extension. This will be added automatically along with the database name. So once you typed it, just click OK as usual saving. Okay. And your database will get saved in the location you have selected. Okay. So this is how you have to save and then closing the database. So just like other softwares, go to file and then select close database. That particular database will get closed. If you want to exit from this, you can click on file and exit or in the Title bar, we are having close button. You can directly click on that. Okay. So this is how you can close the file and the shortcut keys for all these things. Like for saving, it is control S. For open, it is control O. For renaming the file, it is F2. And for quit, it is Alt F4. These four are same for other MS Office software packages also. Hope you have understand all these things. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Happy learning.